Hey everyone. So I wanted to share this um, face. It's like for your double chin. Originally bought this like sometime last year in October. And um, the idea was I saw it on someone's YouTube channel and her name is Hey It's Fan. Hers came with like this sheet mask that you would put on before you wrap your chin with this. And mine didn't come with that, so I was kind of bummed out. But anyways, um, I did look online to see what other people were doing, and then I came across another YouTuber's page. She was using Vix, like, all along over here, and then she would wrap it with some plastic wrap, and she would um, use, like, a handkerchief to, like, hold everything up together. So um, I've actually tried this before recording the video and I was kind of surprised that it, it did work a little better than just going dry <laughs> and um, I just wanted to share this video and yeah I hope you enjoy watching it. So I've marked my face to show you where I'm going to start measuring and I'm going to do it in centimeters. So I'm just going to wrap all the way around to the other side of my face. I can't really see, but I hope you guys can see. And then um, we'll see what we end up with after the bath. I'm using Fix Vapor Rub and I'm just wearing that on my jawline area. If you think you might have sensitive skin, I would definitely try a small test patch first to see if you have a reaction to the Vicks Vapor Rub. But for me, however, my skin worked perfectly fine for this. It just kind of felt more of like a minty sensation. I did have to adjust my mask a couple of times. Um, it was kind of sliding up towards my chin, so um, when you do secure your mask, you just want to make sure that it's pretty firm against your jawline. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty. <laughs> probably just gonna watch some Netflix or something I don't know gotta kill one hour so so my alarm went off and I'm gonna remove this mask I'm like sweating a lot down here um I'm not sure if it has to do with the mask or if it's just really hot right now but let me show you after I wipe up this area. <laughs> when I was removing the plastic wrap from my neck and I saw all these little beads of sweat under there, I was kind of amazed because this did not happen the last time I tried this mask, so I thought maybe it worked a little better. Who knows? But I just ended up wiping off the Vicks with a Neutrogena makeup wipe. It got rid of most of that oily feeling that Vaseline usually leaves on your skin. Starting from the same line that I've marked on my face, I'm just using a measuring tape to see what my results are. results of this mask, um, the face slimming <laughs> mask. I did mention previously that I did use the mask before recording this video and um, I've been continuing to use it and I, I do see the results. I, I do um, see it in very small increments so I think it's kind of like a waist trainer like 
the more that you use it, the more gradually it takes its effect. You can use it, I would recommend maybe once a week, um, twice at the most. Like I wouldn't use it more than twice a week. It's not something that um, you can really be too active using. Like you definitely can't eat because you can't even open your mouth. Um, but you can just kind of relax if you want to throw a sheet mask on top. I do wish that I kept like a photo log or a vlog of my previous um, attempts at the face, the face slimming mask. Um, I did start off at I believe it was like 27 centimeters and the fact that now I'm kind of ranging in between a 25 and 24 is pretty cool. Another thing that can help with um, giving you a more positive result is um, trying to stay away from salty food, especially like right before you're going to sleep. Um, I mean, I've messed up every once in a while, I, I will, but you know, I'm trying to keep that as a part of my regimen not to eat anything right before I go to sleep. And hopefully as I keep up using this mask, I'll see even better progress and I'll let you guys know. As always, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Bye.